Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thanks, this is uh, my next video in sort of a mini series here talking about the transmuting, the templating, and now the prototyping, uh, the grid point, and being a, uh, having a grid master union because there's points on the globe that people are actually, their vibration is going to serve the actual geographical area where they live, which is their spiritual home for right now. And uh, I just want to say to some people here that, yes, being an illumined Blu-ray twin uh, from source, it's not been easy for a lot of us. Some of us have been misunderstood. We haven't known always what our sole purpose is. Um, many of your counterparts are still struggling with some of this stuff of possibly inadequacy, not knowing what to do. You're going to know what to do. It's important to continue holding your, kin your twin, kissing them, vibing from your heart to theirs that it's all fine. Everything is fine. Everything's going to work out. You're going to know what to do. And a large part of that is is because a lot of this has been put into place. I actually did not know that I was capable of some of this stuff. And it might seem kind of wild. So in some ways, I'm, I'm working with the metaphysics. I've also been working in quantum time for a little while, and I understand it. And a lot of what quantum is, is simply sizes or jumping. It's accelerating, decelerating. So when we were in linear time, things would go along pretty, fairly predictable. You were working in a narrow scope, and that's why um, psychics or people with other gifts of clairvoyance could see things in a certain timeline because they were seeing, you know, this narrow thing. You know, this is expanding now where people like myself read the energy, we read possibilities, we help to instruct or guide people, and the Blu-rays are not only healers, we are here to, yes, also instruct because there's things that we know. There's things that we know from other paradigms, there's things that we know from, uh, that we have within our spiritual DNA. There are things that we know through our experiences because we've had to go through some trial and error. And this is from other places and times and timelines. There are things that uh, we are also gifting here that we've created. And so it would be like giving someone a car or how did the first car get invented? And if you look at some of the first cars versus what's available now, um, where you can have a family car, you can have this. Your Merkaba, your light body, your energy field, this all belongs to you and it's unique to you. So some of it is very subjective as to what can be read, and yet there are commonalities that many of us have and that we need to focus upon, which are what? Being in love. Being with your twin, physically being with them. And I will say for Lumen Twin Flames, you might have been feeling like you're held at bay or, you know, there's something, I, I felt that it was going to happen and it got elongated. But I will say to you, there have been people along the way who, yes, have been merging. And they've been tweaking and adjusting so that some of this is easier for you for us, for us as a collective, for us as a, a global body of entities who have come here to really be in love. We haven't been coming here to be ground into the dirt or murdered or killed or be abused yet again. We're here to break all these patterns and cycles that have been accumulated over lifetimes since we first separated and started exploring, since the first anger, since the first abuse, since the first time it ever happened. The buck stops here. You can uh, maybe recall some of you who saw my video where I had set this up and I showed you some of the planets that we are pulling some of the energetics and where we've uh, balanced ourselves in other paradigms and that Earth is the 4D twin flame meeting point so that we can get into 5D. 
and all of the dynamics and duality which we experienced, they've served their purpose. But for many of you, you're on your last incarnate life in a physical 3D dense carbon-based body. And, you know, so for some of you, this is like wonderful news. And for some of you, you might be scratching your head and saying, what is she talking about? Suffice it to say that a lot of the information that I'm giving you and guided, it's like setting up the room for a wedding and you get it all ready and the bride and groom can't see it yet, but they're going to walk in and go, oh, wow, this is all set up for us. How amazing. Oh, my goodness. Why? Because that bride and groom are going to turn around and vibe the love out to everyone. They're going to do their first dance. And that is us. That is the people uh, who are coming back together with their twins and merging. And I wanted to say this also at a personal level. I've had many family and friends who not only have died and gotten sick. I've had friends who I know were on the twin flame path. I had three friends die, one threw themselves in front of a train. And I learned not to dwell on that. What I learned to do, you know, after some initial feelings of grief, and um, I actually learned how to connect with my friends uh, in sort of a medium way. And it doesn't happen all the time, but it happened enough to let me know that they're okay. And they're doing their own thing in their way. Um, but I don't really wish that to happen. I don't wish for us here at this level to go through this sense of grief and loss and futility and frustration. So all along, you know, I've been saying to my guides, like, well, why should love be work? How are we going to do this? How are people going to get better why you know how do we stop these cycles of cancer and diabetes and all of these debilitating diseases and viruses and sexual diseases my god it boggles the mind and there's you know an organization for this an organization for that and making sure that it's not corrupt that the money is actually getting to the people that need it or there's food and and some of it is like putting a band-aid on a gaping wound and it's not just people I happen to be a people person. There are people here who are help to, uh, here to help the environment, here to help the animals. And many of those people have been clearing and cleaning and reforging their connections with the animal realms, the elemental realms, or, you know, some of the other um, areas that we will be living in, health, um, the healthcare. Healthcare is intended to shift. And so you have all these modalities which have uh, gotten us to a point. But what is really healing you is twin flame love. It's the heart love. It is the sacred heart of the divine that we are here embodying. And so um, that's going to lead me into the next part here where I'm going to talk about the prototyping as well as the grid point. So... What I want to say to you is the new is already in place. Here's the thing. When I started my prototyping, my guides came to me one night and they said, you've said that you want to help. Uh, we have a way for you. Do you know how the camel goes through the eye of the needle? And I said, you know, this is like an old reference to a text that, you know, I threw all that away. I tried to, you know, get rid of that. And they said, we will uh, talk you through it. And they, I was actually out of, able to get out of my body. I was in the fifth dimension, in the new earth, and I was, I was in my light body. But it didn't stop there. I couldn't stay there. I re-experienced myself as I truly am, how we truly live, how our, our love, our energy lives in a form. I was not with my twin, so this was a special situation. And then I came back in, and that started the templating for my union and for other people. And by virtue of the fact that I am an Illumin twin, and I've had many experiences, what I transmuted, yes, it, it had a collective effect. Then came the prototyping. So the prototyping is was very similar to an analogy of uh, developing an, a new car or a brand new plane, and you've got to test drive it. 
And I would go into certain situations, I would go into dense situations, or I would eat certain foods, or I would, um, you know, encounter certain people. Uh, the the readings and the sessions, and actually, I used to do a lot of my energy work, uh, the reconnective healing I did, by having people on a table. That shifted. So all of the new prototyping was paying off. And then one night, what happened was, it was taken off and set aside and it felt almost like someone taking off a wetsuit it was formed to me and I knew this is it this is the gift for others now I don't claim to be the only one because the parts that I worked on did have to do with um, the sacred sexual it was um, specifically towards those who have similar energetics of electric and magnetic it was the digestive system it was a resp it, it was pretty much all my trouble spots Respiratory system, um, very little with the circulatory system, changing out of the mental body and reconnecting to the high universal Christ mind. So uh, that was actually over a year ago, and now everything is in place. So the new template, uh, which has been prototyped, many twins have been forming this, customizing it, tweaking it a little bit polishing it up and let me tell you I know some of you need a really good polishing and buffing it's coming so you've been kind of having those little burrs on you that need to be you know smooth it off finish it off you need you need a hug you need to be touched you need to be kissed it's coming to you I can assure you and so everything is ready everything's ready to just take off and go and why well um, because everything is as it should be at the level right above here and we are bringing it into the physical now the other thing to know is that for many twins because you knew and you planned for this to be your last incarnation in this kind of a body you prepared it that way so when you last died and you quote unquote went to heaven and you came back in you came back in in readiness you came back in prepared to do this some of you might have forgotten some of you might have fell off the track some of you might have let go of the rope and you know it's up to you to get back on but a lot of this is happening in the same way like a boat if you ever see a big boat and what's the best way to get you know kind of utilize that force of the you know boat if you stay out here you just bump along but if you get behind you can kind of ride the wake a little bit and feel as though you're pulled along and some of this is what's happening um, there's many people who are still struggling with old relationships old connections a lot of them are relationships with uh, either a boyfriend girlfriend or a spouse it's going to uh, Hey, I, I'm going to say this it's going to be easier to do but your time in which to do it is shorter so I don't know how intense it's going to get for some people please know that the energies the universe your template everything is waiting and ready for readiness for you to step into it might be hard to extricate yourself from these situations and I understand I've been divorced we went through it in kind of death throes you know he I suggested it then he said you know let's let's do it I tried to pretend it wasn't happening um in some ways it was the best thing that happened to me in many ways breaking up is never easy to do and I've had to break up with the church the Catholic Church that wasn't easy breaking up meant I couldn't go to any of their pancake breakfasts or any of the other fun things I grew up with it had to break up with everything the good and the bad you know it's it's easy to say well this is good and you rationalize it and you weigh it out and you know you're justifying it my soul could not handle any more pain from them and I wasn't even abused I actually have um, had this uh, through as a theme through many lifetimes and it needed to go the things that cannot live in your 5d union have to go does that mean that you don't have a new relationship no it's up to you to create the new relationship 
with your kids, with your family, with your neighbors, with your colleagues, uh, with your endeavors. And you do that by claiming it, getting out the old, forming the new, and creating it. And sometimes, yeah, you have to sometimes pretend that it's new. If you have a relationship with your parent and you have to say to yourself, you know what, I'm going to pretend like we don't have any of this history and I'm just going to act like, you know, that pattern isn't there. I don't feel all clenched up and, you know, just go with they have my best interests at heart and really feel it, feel it. It'll get easier to do. It really will. For those of you in a relationship, what does that mean? Uh, who's clinging on to who? Because I can tell you this. I have a friend that is in charge of a department, and they are uh, a big-name life insurance company. The way that they sell life insurance, one of the ways, is they have the spouse go wait in another room, and then they say, imagine that that person isn't there. What would you do? Where's your security? And I'm here to tell you that this is fear-based selling. Um, but it does wake people up. And this is a lot of what people in a relationship are doing. Like, oh my God, there goes my security. There goes this, that. They're not allowing themselves to receive in a more expansive way. And the thing with quantum time is that things can jump right in front of you to help you. The entire universe is trying to reach back and help you because you are helping everyone in the universe because why you're creating and you prototyping this new template. So the next part I'm going to talk about is the grid work. And so some of you have remembered that I had um, I had this picture. Let me uh, I had this picture here where I was pointing out some of the places that where people have contacted me. I've had contacts from pretty much all over the world, either personal friends, professional contacts of people I know were twin flames, uh, people that called me for things. So Australia is popping out, France is popping, India is popping, South America is starting to pop, um, Hawaii, California, the United States, England, and uh, Sweden. Now, interestingly, a lot of it's sort of this way. Um, the East, that is, still, that is still having some of the density cracked off. Places like, yes, Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, Thailand, Vietnam, Korea. It's not that nothing's happening there. It's that it's a little slow going. Other places are popping first. And so um, the other part of this is that how does this grid work stuff look? Well, this is a very, very small depiction here. This is, uh, maybe I'll move it up closer. This depicts sort of like by California. Okay, this is um, supposed to be the United States. And again, I am not an artist. I had to ask a friend to help me with this. So, as you can see, the um, California, let's say it's around here somewhere. So with California, this particular twin flame couple also has secondary parts in Canada, maybe Oregon, um, Oklahoma, Kansas, New Mexico, Arizona. And so theirs looks a little bit like a flower or flower petal. And some of you have read, oh, the new grid is the flower of life. It's, uh, it, it's a grid. It's, it looks like this. Some of it in the old was very linear. We had seven points, which are a lot, uh, seven of the sacred sites, Egypt, uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, um, uh, Machu Picchu, some other places. Okay. There's 13 more that are are critical for the planetary ascension. And so um, I've also, in addition to being the prototype, have been working on my personal grid point. So here is just a quick little map of the United States. Now I live around here in here, this is Lake Michigan. 
I live here in Chicago. This is Chicago. Now, I've done a lot of work in my home city to um, create my safe point. Okay, this is you. Your grid point is your safe zone. It's your love zone. It's your love nest. This is where you make love and emanate it out. How? It's because you've eaten the foods, you've immersed yourself, you've enjoyed yourself, you laughed, you cried, you put your entire heart and soul into the place. So naturally, you don't have to go evangelize. A lot of you, I'm just going to say this, will do this from the safety of your bedroom with your twin, and then you'll do it again, and perhaps again. So <laughs> what I want to tell you is... Um, my uh, first is Chicago. I actually have a secondary one, which is um, an ancient Mayan area. This is the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, I've never lived in Mexico, but I've had several lives in Mexico. I was a shaman. I was a Mayan. And I have really vague memories I well I have memories of it some of which are vague I should say and yet I've re-experienced and I've been to Mexico I've traveled there 10 times to various areas this is the area which actually feels like something for me also I was born in Orlando Florida so this is actually my third grid point my third um, extension of my flower petal, if you will. So it kind of goes like this and like that. So I have sort of two flower petals of this grid of life. And, you know, we're going to have other ones that will extend maybe into Canada to uh, this area or to other countries. So for some of you, Pay attention to your movements because when spirit is telling you today you have to go there or today you do this or go sit in the park, there is a reason for it. You might not see the reason right away. And so for me, um, how this looks is my personal grid point. Let me fix this here. My personal grid point is, um, I'll just say here, my home. And then there's downtown Chicago, one of my favorite areas. Okay, there uh, is also a beach here. There, it's called Hollywood Beach. Believe it or not, um, that's along Lake Michigan, so the lake. And there is uh, over here the department. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, got another pen. The Department of Motor Vehicles. And the Department of Human Services. And then I've got um, the Woods. And two parks by my house. I have a park here. And I've got a park here. And I've got um, various restaurants. Okay, so the reason I'm pointing this out to you is that over the past two years, when I started the template, I've been transmuting, I was templating, I was prototyping. This has been a continual process of clean, clear, purge, pull in, clean, clear, purge, pull in. And some of you will do this more when you're with your twin. Some of you, your energies have been utilized to do that because twins always work in tandem, see? And while some of you, your twin has been out in the work world, you've been pretty much destitute waiting, and that happens a lot with Illumins, where there's like this real disparity between their economic conditions. 
it's getting less and less as more twins are waking up there is much more equanimity between some of their situations and yet for some one of your uh, your counterpart may be the one who's doing all this traveling or moving around. So I would go from, I would get word to go from my home to downtown Chicago or my home to the beach or my home to the Department of Motor Vehicles or um, I had to get insurance for my son. I had to go to the Department of Human Services. I would go to the woods. And what I was establishing was this made a very wide safe circle for me my family and for other people does this mean that crime doesn't happen no right on my block we've had some cars broken into personally my home and my uh, things were not affected and that's not to say that it can't here's the thing we are planting so a lot of you are planting your energy, you're planting your seeds. Every time I went and sat and I had to wait for my name to be called to get my license renewed and I would sit, I could feel the energies like my body was a lightning rod where it was going right through, planting in, um, also going out. And then sometimes for the next three or four nights, I would have a really bumpy night while all this stuff was leaving. And I'll say this. I am not a stranger to the darkness. I've had to transmute my own darkness, my own dark night of the soul several times, many, many times. I've had to contend with, um, you know, just the things that trigger me, things that trigger me into um, despair or even feeling enraged, feeling futile, feeling frustrated, commiserating, doubting. These things don't belong in my union. And for some of you, if you're aware of what your twin does for a living, and in my case, it's health care, you know, I, I also have another person, uh, my brother, he's a pilot. You know, what happens when I or, you know, my brother's wife, you know, what if we're having a bad day and, you know, something gets messed up at work? So I make it my business to you know, catch my balance. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be perfect. Things happen. Bills come. Bills need to be paid. Um, kids need to be fed. The roof. So you're still living in this body. Your body is still housing your soul and still holding the template of your 5D union. While you're here, yes, respect each other and also know that um, we are getting out of some of this it is going to keep moving and shifting and for the better and we've done with a lot of the worst of it especially for twins and so every time that I uh, would go sometimes all I did like when I went downtown I went to the Sears Tower which at one time was the tallest building in the world and I simply held my hands on the building and interestingly the building itself feels like a conduit of energy. So it actually felt quite lovely. And when I was downtown, it was a beautiful, gorgeous day. I naturally wanted to stay downtown and play. My guide said, no, nope, get home, go home and lay down. You've got to transmute some of that stuff. And I, you know, I didn't like doing that, but I did it because I don't know. I have a bigger, broader picture and perspective on this, but they have an even bigger picture. And so um, these parks are utterly um, feeling warm and fuzzy. And that's the thing that you're doing. It's your favorite restaurants, your doctors, your um, parks, the places for the kids. Now, an another interesting thing that happened, I was told to um, join a place for exercising. And right next to it is a senior citizen center which I'm, I'm almost officially a senior, but that's a few years off. The thing is, is um, between that place and the park, I started noticing that I'd be at the park and I'd pick up the new kid energy because the children are incarnating with um, parts of this templating too, that they're gifting to us. I would go to work out and there would be the senior citizen center and I would feel 
There's a, there's an exchange going on here. It's like the old people are receiving the new, the young people are transmuting and I'm transmuting some of it. It's important to transmute what's in your union. If you feel that you're done and you feel that uh with all honestly, you're not you're no longer here to do it for the collective. You know, it's important to speak that because there are some people that will continue saying, well, I'm on a mission for humanity and, um, you know, no, it only goes so far because you're expected to move along. So all of the things I'm presenting, I am actually no longer a transmuter except within the context of my union. On a, you should be at some point getting down to what is your daily grind? What is annoying you? What is irritating you? What is making you feel grief or despair or triggering you into anger uh, so that you can catch it and send it on its way? Because it can't live in your union. It shouldn't live in your union. Um, a large uh, percentage of people will think that they're here on the mission for humanity. And you may have had very as various aspects of what you're doing here um, similar to this or different, but you know what you're here to do, you know what you've been doing. But I will still say to you, you're here to be the love. You're here to be in love, and you're here to be with companionship, with passion, with desire, with all sensuality. It is who we are. We are connected with everything. Your body is a, you are a sacred sexual being, so your body is connected. It is possible to feel the vibrations of your car, of trees, of flowers, and some people are. A lot of you, what you've been doing is, you know, adjusting your dials so that it's not overwhelming you. And that was a large part of what I also did, too. And I've read about things. I've read about the overly sensitive person. Um, there's people that have you know, extreme sensitivities or can hear things and see things. For a long time, that just wasn't me because I wasn't fully awakened. I got to know what some of the people are talking about, but I will say this. Every time that you have any kind of work done, you still have to continue maintaining yourself. You can have a past life regression that tells you or spells out things in some detail, why things are, what are your patterns. You still have to maintain. But it's getting to the point where it's not intended to be overwhelming work where you can't function and you're, you're laying in bed all day. I realize that that's happening. Some of what I did when I was prototyping, I would feel things that were leaving my uh, spiritual lineage. And the words sounded like fibromyalgia, menstrual cramps, club foot, uh, deformities. Some of what we're plugging in are the missing pieces. Why does a deformity happen where a hand grows from where the shoulder is and all you have is this? It's because there's missing pieces of the DNA that were caused by not just soul damage, but sometimes, yes, some really extreme means, and it's being plugged back in. The twins are here to fully, fully resurrect all the possibilities, all of the DNA, any forms that you want to explore in any environments, you know, let's say you want to go to um, a system where, you know, maybe there's more humidity and you need to be able to breathe. You're going to be in a form that enables you to do that. You know, it's not science fiction or fantasy anymore. We, our experiences have been picked up by others. Some of those others, like, George Lucas, um, he wrote Star Wars, and then he made it into a movie, and now you have Angry Birds Star Wars. You know, it's gotten down to all those, like, you know, little facets there. And yet, when I remember when they came out, and it was just amazing watching it. It was so cutting edge. But he picked up some of our stories, and he turned it into something. He's making a million, you know, millions of bucks on that. You know, more power to him. I don't begrudge him that. But other people shouldn't begrudge us what we know is our truth and the gifts and talents that we have and the gifts and talents that you are bringing forward. And I'm going to do a little bit of gratitude here just because with everything that's happening, I know that there's a propensity towards um, blaming and um, the masculine is here to 
also be a part of this in as much as you might see things or feel that things are perpetrating there's no space for it find the way in your hearts to allow your counterpart to receive put down the walls of anger put put it down redirect yourself you don't have to forgive what happened you you even your prayers I mean the real way of us doing this is transforming yourself ascending up out of it frankly I want to get the heck out of here I want every single time something happened I said I got to get out of here well how are we getting out of here this is how we're getting out of here I want to um, say that we should maybe have a little bit of gratitude for how we're able to communicate through YouTube Chad Hurley Steve Chen and Jawad Karam they are the developers and um, whether or not you know whether or not they're on their best track and in touch with their own hearts they helped this purpose which is to uh, people to connect and for people to uh, view and glean and not feel like they're crazy for you to feel loved so some people were are the intermediaries helping um, father of the web Tim Berners-Lee and Robert uh, Kai Caillou I think anyways you know they themselves are bringing some of this information in from Sirius disseminating it building it creating it putting it on a production line putting it into your homes or at your libraries wherever you're able to see this so that yes you know that you are the love you are loved the entire universe is here to support you including them who probably have no idea some of the enormity of what all of this is and yet it's so important to keep it simple keep it heart based focus on your twin that's what's going to really work for us is if everyone could you imagine a planet where everyone's in love that's what that's where I want to live where everyone's in love because that I've I've been in atmospheres like that I am in love and it's you know it's just um, none of this other stuff can hold a candle to it you know none of the things that people are think are fun in the old ways it's just not and um, so thank you so much for listening I had a song that has been burning in me that I, I just want to and it's that song what I did for love and it goes like um, a kiss today goodbye and point me toward tomorrow I did what I had to do can't forget won't regret what I did for love and you know what I have no regrets everything I did I realize now has brought me on this journey and I'm here I'm sitting here poised ready to do this the next portal is going to open many of you even though I've said the portals closing nobody's being left behind some people have chosen to stay behind do it at another time you it's still going to happen being in love is who we are and there will be other portals there's a timeline here the timeline is up until 2015 and there's there's a grace period being given but after that um, the intent is for many people to be living as ascended 5d beings so thank you so much for listening I wish you a wonderful day and there is more uh, one day we'll all be sitting and having fun I really want to get to the fun part so thanks so much bye now